Game three, ALDS. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Los Angeles Angels. Moments away on 2K Sports. Well, here it is, Division Series. This is a do or die. These teams have played the first four even. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, 2K Sports MLB. Well, here's a guy whose name around Major League Baseball means hits. His name is Torrey Hunter. Will he be a factor? We're going to find out today. Over 45,000, a quick look. Starting will be Irvin Santana. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Uh, Irvin Santana has some explosive stuff. Health has been a problem for him in the past, but when he's healthy, he's got some of the best stuff around. An explosive moving fastball and a nasty break in pitch as well that really keep the hitters off balance. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. When you look at the Angels, Steve, what do you think about these guys in this game? They've got their proverbial backs against the wall, but stranger things have happened. True, they're facing elimination in this game, but they can't focus on the big picture. They have to focus on this game, and it's got to be one pitch and one inning at a time. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. And we'll take a quick look at the Angels, how they'll be taking the field defensively. Any picks here, Steve? Well, Lexi, well, you have to have a lot of confidence with Torrey Hunter roaming in the outfield. There's not a ball that he can't get to. And if it's going over the wall, he'll climb the wall to make the play. And uh, in the batter's box, it's ripped line towards first. And Morales gloves that one. And they just try to hold him there at first. And here's Paul Canerco. He sends this one in the air towards center. Two down here in the inning. Boy, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. And the runner on, Carlos Quinton, will hit. Santana sets and throws. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Goodbye, a two-run homer. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. And Beckham's in the box. And it's fouled away. Santana sets and throws. A smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And it didn't take long, our first two runs. First inning, trouble coming. The White Sox on top, two to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. Well, the scouting report against this lineup is if you execute your pitches, hit your spots, keep the ball down in the zone, you can shut them down. And with a quality left hander like this on the mound, he shouldn't have too much difficulty. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Boy, he throws that curveball with such great bite to it. It just breaks it like it's falling right off the table, Gary. Swung on, line softly towards center. And that gets down for the Angels. That'll be their first base hit. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have. It's brought to you by Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, anytime you can get production from your catcher, you know you've got something special. And Mike? On the ground to first. Over to second for one. And the deuce on the play. It's Morales at the plate. Two outs and nobody on. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. No strikeouts, but to talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. And it'll be the White Sox. Second Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. In a confident Fields. position, Number he's got 51. his club in right now. Smart strategy Real. put to use, right execution. Division champs tonight. 
Santana sets and throws. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. Number 12, A.J. Krasinski. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. It's going to be Przinski. That's one away. And he holds the runner at second. And the throw. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Third base. Joe Crady Number looks to knock in a run. Joe and on third, Crady. one out. Santana sets and throws. Swung on and missed on one. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. Two away. And that will not get that runner in from third. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Designated Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tony. Lifetime four for 15 off Irvin Santana. Strike Swing one. and a miss. Tommy. Strike one. 0 and 1. Santana kicks and deals. Strike two. Probably should not have swung at that one. It's a strike even though the ball was in the dirt. Oh. Low for a ball to Tommy. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. The throw, and he's safe at first base. Yikes, that's a stolen runner right there. Now swing at a bad pitch out of the zone. The catcher could not keep it in front to get the out. Could be a costly mistake. We'll see how it affects the rest of the game. Great chance to do something on an out that should have been recorded and wasn't. And it's Johnny Damon now. He had a single in his last time up. First pitch on the way to Damon. For some reason, he tried to hit that pitch in the dirt. It's a strike. Oh and Johnny Damon watches that one go by. The count is even. Batting average, 247 off the Angels. Santana sets and throws. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. And there's Rivera. Pulls it in, third out. So they score a run, one hit, and leave a man on. White Sox up three. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Gruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And so Tory Hunter leading it off. Bedard gets set and delivers. Fastball just misses. 1-0. 1-0 now. Swung on, line softly, right field line. And Hunter's got himself a base hit. And that's going to bring up Juan Rivera. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. That's one away. Number 44. It's going to be Napoli. One out. Runner on at first. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, oh, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Slider. Too far inside. That'll back him away a little. Well, he barely got out of the way of that one. That's definitely, though, going to keep him from crowding the plate. Oh! Napoli will foul that one away. And the one-two pitch from Bedard. Swung on and a grounded to first. One. Over to first. He is safe. 
Almost a double play, not quite enough time. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. There's a strike at the knees on one. And it's 0 and 2. Abreu probably won't try and pull here. Now, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Laced foul to the right side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Find out in his last at bat. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Hit up the middle. Look out. Oh, right back up the middle, and the pitcher did not get out of the way. One away. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. And here's Paul Konerko. 0 for 1 thus far. Pitch on the way. Sliders in there. No balls and a strike. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. There's a swing and a miss, and he's behind on two. And Paul Konerko strikes out, could not make contact. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Over his lifetime, 293 off the Angels. Swung and a fly ball. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. And that one goes foul. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. Three up, three down for Urban Santana. Now he holds the run production to just the three runs he allowed in the first two. The familiar face of Mike Sosha. He knows the seriousness of the occasion. Got to win. This club can stay alive with a victory. All the best plays in the playbook. Now you bring them out. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. The catch is made. And we've got his tourist batting. He's getting his first look at the plate. Liner between first and second. Nobody's able to get under that one. It falls a base hit. At the plate. Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. Now Przinski positions himself. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. At the belt, the 1 0. That's hit foul by Ibar. And that's on the outer half for a strike one and two. Now the changeup offers the change of speed, but you have to throw it down You're in the out. zone to be effective. He got away with one right there, going up the way. Able to set him down there, chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. With two strikes, the hitter will line up the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And he starts Kendrick up. Catcher can't control it, and he's gonna head for second. So they can't make the play. Because to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Bedard gets set and delivers. Slider just misses the black, falls behind 2 0. Here's the 2 0. Smash towards the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. Safe at third. That will bring up a key hitter in a key moment, Kendra Morales. Well, Kendry Morales had a breakout season in 2009. I tell you what, you have a switch hitter, it's in the middle of your lineup, it's so valuable. It's his first year he ever had a chance to play every day, and he produced for that team. Ground out victim last time through, and that'll retire the side, got by Rios. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. The Angels still looking for a run. And Beckham's in the box. Second base, number 15. Here's the first pitch. 
He swings now and really hit that. And it's caught by Hunter. One away. You talk about settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. Hit hard to second. And Kendrick in position. So Rios is set down. It's going to be Przinsky lined out last time up. Santana sets and throws. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strike. I think he's going to try to get him to take. Well, he was able to ring up that K and he needed it. And it got him out of the inning. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. White Sox three. The Angels nothing. And so Torrey Hunter leading it off. Center fielder, number 48, Torrey Hunter. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Grounded up the middle. Back up. That's one down. And Juan Rivera to bat. Oh for one this far. One out, nobody on. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. You know, Gary's done a nice job working around the four hits he's given up here into the fourth. And that's about making pitches. And he's done an effective job when he's had to pitch out of the stretch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Rivera now going to protect that strike zone. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. We might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over the first, and he still retires his name. It's got to be Napoli. Uh, not a lot of expectations, just a 130 lifetime average against the White Sox. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And he's there to retire the Sox. And they're unable to make any noise. Once again, taking a look at you right there. This ball club has produced the offense necessary so far. His work now to make sure they keep this lead. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Flew out last time. First pitch to Creedy. Santana's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling Strike right two. now. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. Here's a ball. Hit soaring into deep center field. That ball is still going. Gone. That's a dinger. Add one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here. Four up. You know, Gary, they're not punching him together, but that is the second home run they hit off him in this game. You may be taking a look at his sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together with pitcher and catcher. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. Steve, this has been an unbelievable offensive show and contributing to it the long ball. Well, you're right. I mean, every single time the pitcher made a mistake, it's been getting knocked around the ballpark. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. But clearly the slider's working today. He's working the corners, getting that late movement, getting a lot of strikeouts on the slider today. One out, bases him. Santana sets and throws. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And Abreu's going to play it as he retreats back for it and gets the out. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. Third year player. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Santana's pitch swung on and missed. 0 1. 
Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's jumping out, trying to get to it, and is just way out in front. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. The inning complete for Irvin Santana. He has six strikeouts now. And we'll see the Angels. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. Right fielder. Number 53. First pitch to Abreu. Bobby Abreu. Just missed with a fastball. One and oh. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting. Swing, hot shot. Bedard. Out. One away now. You have to have good reactions on the mound to be able to make the play and then move your feet to make the throw to first base. Nice job. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Pops this one foul off to the left. Ground ball up the middle. Makes its way through for a single. And that's going to bring his tourist to the plate. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hit. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. The OO delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You've got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Towards the middle, Bedard, and that'll sit down as Torres. Eric Ibar looks to drive it a run. And here's the first one. And Bedard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. That'll do it as they put that one away. No, they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. The Angels still hoping to put something up. And Paul Canerco to leave it off. Struck out swinging his hit. And he starts Canerco out. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. And Abreu's going to play it. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Well, he's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. Base is empty with one away. The first pitch. Right. Santana's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Oh. Good execution. Taps this one foul to the right. Now Napoli sets up. Swings oh. and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Santana sets and throws. Swing and a hot shot. Well, Quinton is retired. After the pitch, the pitcher becomes an infielder. Quick reactions allow him to make the play and get the out at first. And Beckham's in the box. Two hits, five at bats, lifetime off Santana. Here's the first pitch. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. A lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. White Sox four, the Angels nothing. Leadoff hitter Howie Kendrick, one for two in the ballgame. Second Number 47, Howie. And Kendrick. he starts Kendrick out. 
Swung on, line softly, left side. And in there, he's two for three today. That will bring up Kendry Morales. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And, you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And there's one. And there's two, a double play. Around the horn they go, and they rack up a couple of votes. That's a pitcher's best friend, but also manager's best friend as they get the double play. And Torrey Hunter. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Hit up the middle. And it gets through. Not bad. Two for three today. And that's going to bring up Juan Rivera. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs. They get that guy at first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big round. That one's too low, Bedard missing. Well, he's doing an outstanding job keeping this offense off the board. And Dan always had a handful of base runners so far in this one. The four runners left on base, but you know, they've been able to make pitches and make plays when they needed to. Now the two-one pitch. Swing and a miss. Juan Rivera, no contact, evens the count. The 2 2 pitch. Struck him out. And with that, here in the sixth inning, it's over. The shutout's on. And Steve, you can just tell by looking at it, he's thinking about it. Now, Gary, he's bringing it today. No question about it. And I tell you, the offense has to look out because he's gaining confidence. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. The Angels still hoping to put something up. And Alex Surrios to lead off. One for two in the ballgame. Number 51, Alex Rio. Santana sets and throws. That's hit foul by Rios. 0 and 1. Santana kicks and deals. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, right there, you can just tell that the grounder, Morales. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. That's going to bring up A.J. Pruszynski. 0-2 count. So you protect a pitch that's up. So a little easier to do that. Absolutely. You can fight it off, punch it over the infielder's head. That time, solid piece of hitting. First pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. 0-1. Oh and one Santana kicks and deals and they pitch out uh, nobody's moving. Here's the pitch. He got him so far eight strikeouts today. Well, you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. First pitch to Creedy. Santana's pitch is swung on. No contact. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. Now he swings. Hits this one high in the air. Deep left center field. They add a couple more to the lead now. A home run and a six-run lead. Oh, As the Angels turn to him in relief. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten him a little bit earlier. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Oh, and one. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. A long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs, and it just deflates your own team. So offense ruling the day. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a okay. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get him chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. 
Here's the delivery. He makes contact. Line drive. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's Mike Napoli to lead it off. Number 44, Mike Napoli. Here's the first pitch. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Well, what an outstanding effort. Uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches, and offensively, they just have not been able to back oh. hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. Oh. Napoli will foul that one away. Another foul ball as Napoli digs in. Well, you're behind in a count one and two. All you want to do is try to stay alive and hope the pitcher makes a mistake. He didn't make a mistake on that pitch, but he got enough wood on it just to foul it off. Line towards second. Beckham able to pull that one in. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. Really bad pitch right there. It's a ball. Here's the 1-0. Lays off the breaker, but it's in there for a called strike. One, two, the count. The one, two on its way. Strike three. And now there are two men down here in the seventh inning and the shutout in place. And he just keeps on rolling. Number three. Now the slider has outstanding late movement. Hitter couldn't even pull the trigger. And Woods batting. He singled in his last at bat. Bedard gets set and delivers. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Can't catch up with it, 0 and 2. Still 0 and 2. him out and now that's seven count him seven shutout innings going I think he's got the stuff to do it Gary I think he wants to finish the rest of this game he's got the legs and a frustrated lineup indeed that's now seven shutout innings the White Sox still on top and uh, in the batter's box it's Ramirez Alexi. Well, this is a good move right here. You're bringing in the better defensive player for the guy who could be a little suspect in the outfield. Defense helps you win games. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Now batting. For the uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. He pays for it. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. Last time up, flew up. And he starts Canerco out. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. There's a ball. Hit well. A high drive deep into center field. And out of here. A home run. Two runs, one swing. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Now back. And it's Carlos okay, Quinton Chicago in the box Lexa. now. A couple of RBIs right. thus far. Quality, productive Carlos at bats, Quentin. driving in a run, and then the big home run as well. So their team's winning. He's been a big part of the production. Nobody on base and nobody out. First pitch to Quinton. 
There's a swing line drive center field and that's going to be another hit for them. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. The pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0 and 1. Lifetime numbers 8 for 24 against the Angel. Line shot into center field. Streak continues. That gets in. Now back. I tried to go for down with that 0 1 line. pitch, but it gets Better blasted field. right number back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. No one out. Sacks full. And the first pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Swing and lined up the middle. And it gets down as Quentin crosses the plate. Now back. Well, they need a big out right here, Gary. I mean, they've given up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just again to show that they can get them. Bases are loaded and nobody out. First pitch to Creedy. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 and 1. Over his career, a 265 hitter off the Angels. Swung on and missed, strike two. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. He deals. You're Got out. him. One away. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0 and 1. So the base is loaded here. Tomei in the batter's box is hit hard on the ground to short. And that one gets through, and Tomei has picked up an RBI. Now batting. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Well, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. It's going to be David Weathers on the mound. He's coming on in relief for the Angels. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What you... This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. And the run comes in. And so they bring in two here. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Alexi, you want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. And he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Hit sharply towards the hole. And they score him. Now batting. Well, that pitch White down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Here's the pitch. Swings a little early that time. 0 1. His career average and even 300 against the Angel. On the way. Now swing and a shot toward second. And they bring him home. Now back for the Chicago White Well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave him in and take a beating? 
First pitch to Quinton. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Well, you can tell by that approach. He was looking for that fastball. He got it, but still out in front. Swung on and missed. Behind now. 0 and 2. Sinker swung on, missed. That's out number two. Let's take a look at what a sinker looks like in KK. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. First pitch to him. And that's by him on one. David Weathers gets ahead 0 and 2. Hit sharply towards the hole and in there the White Sox will score. Now batting. Statistics say that the 0 2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. He delivers. Hot shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They've really opened this thing up now. They've opened up a seemingly insurmountable advantage. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Bottom of the order to get things started. And we've got his tourist batting. One for two in the ball game. Number 13. Nicer, here's Bedard gets set and delivers on the ground to second. Right. And that'll sit down as Torres. And now we've got one down here Number in the same inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. First pitch on the way. He bunts the ball. Picked up by Przinski. On the first, two away. And it's Howie Kendrick in the box now. Two for three thus far. And it goes foul. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. And Ramirez fields the ball. Throws on to first side is retired. And he'll head back to the dugout knowing three outs and he's got himself a shutout. He's got it. I think the way he's pitching, I think he's going to go all the way. The Angels still. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to second. And Kendrick in position. And so Pierzynski retired. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. He's already homered twice in this one. Now Gary, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. That ball swung on, hit high in the air, way back, warning track. Gone a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Okay, that's his third quality swing of the day right there. He locked in on the first two, and once again, drive one out of the ballpark. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. Now swing and a shot towards second. Retiring Tomey. And it's Johnny Damon now. He doubled home a couple in his last at bat. Uh, driven in multiple runs in this one, Gary, and, and obviously a major part of why they're ahead. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on, hit, and that gets down. Damon, base hit. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. 
Well, a big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And we'll get to see Todd Wellemeyer pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Todd Weltmeyer is coming in this game. He's kind of a swing man. He can be that fourth or fifth starter if you need one, a spot starter if you need it. Probably best suited, though, to come out of the bullpen and middle relief. He can give you innings. He can pitch multiple days. And that makes him very valuable to have on this club. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox have really piled it on. Catch a glimpse of Mike Sosha. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Hit in the air to left center. And that gets down for a base hit. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No out. Big things could happen now. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Well, we're in the ninth. Obviously, uh, he can taste victory. He can see the finish line out in front of him, Gary. You know, offensively, they just have not been able to put any sort of pressure on him. Only four runners left on base this entire game. And one Rivera to bat. Not looking last time. Here's a swing and a ground ball. He snares it. That retires Rivera. Now you're hanging on for one more out. Now he's going to take a little extra time to regroup right now. Throwing a shutout in this day and age is pretty tough because offense usually dominates. Mathis at the plate. He fouled off that first pitch of one strike count. On the ground. This could be the ender. Steve, that was one of the most outstanding pitching performances that we've seen in recent memory. With that final out, he's got a shutout. Well, he didn't miss a spot the entire game. He had great defensive play behind him, a great all-around team effort. They get it done on the road. Not an easy thing to do. And they're going to go in and celebrate, taste the champagne, and get ready for the next round of the playoffs. Gary, what a win. Well, it's time here for the Pepsi Clutch performer. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. And with this win, they have taken their first step towards the title as they win the divisional series. As happy as they are in that clubhouse now, they're not satisfied with the division crown. They want it all. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.